What's going on guys, Dots Gaming here, and today I'm bringing you a beginner's guide to how to graduate from the season servers in Black Desert Online. So recently we did have early graduation come up for the first season of 2022, and so I figured I would just make a guide for those of you who are new to the game or returning and maybe haven't experienced the season before, how to actually graduate from it. I know this was my first time graduating from a season, and so there was a couple of parts that were a little confusing and I wanted to clear it up for certain people people who again this may be your first time so the first step in order to actually graduate is that early graduation does need to be available and when it is the first thing you need to make sure that you've done is complete all of your season pass objectives which you can check in the top right of your screen if you have not completed your season pass then you will not be able to graduate early you also need to make sure that you have used fugar's timepiece and if you don't know what fugar's timepiece is or how to use it i do have a guide for how to use the timepiece which will be linked in in the description below so make sure you use the timepiece and then after that the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to layla in velia she is located in the house near the skill instructor um if you simply talk to fugar and say hey i'm about ready to graduate he will tell you to go talk to her and then you can get the quest for the season server graduation at the crossroads then you will go to fugar and you're going to notice that he has a couple of quests. Now, the first one that you are going to want to complete after you, you know, talk about Layla is you're going to want to do the season special gift, Prismatically Brilliant Dream, that will allow you to actually claim a reward for completing the season, like one of the Pen Kaposha items or the special alchemy stone that you can get. So do that quest, pick the item of your choice from either the current season rewards or the previous season rewards, and then boom, that will now go in your inventory that you can wear once the graduation is complete you then will talk to him and get the season server graduation uh for the future quest from fugar and then once you complete that you know it's just kind of like a you know are you sure you want to graduate like really think about it um you know you complete that you talk to him boom and then you are going to get um, the quest that is called Season Server Graduation into the Big Wide World. Now, before you can complete this quest, you are going to want to make sure you are on a normal server, not on a season server, because it's going to turn your character to a normal character. And obviously, once that is done, you cannot be on a season server. You're going to be given an adventure certificate in your inventory, and that will convert your character from a season character to a normal character. You do that, and boom, you are a normal character. You then can talk to to Fugar and he will give you a box that is a Tuvala conversion box that will convert all of your seasoned Tuvala gear into regular Tuvala gear. And now you can actually wear that on your new normal character, and then he will give you some extra rewards as well on top of that for actually graduating. Now, one of the things that people will typically ask once the season is done is, what's next? What do I do after this? And in my opinion, what you would do now is a little bit different than what you would have done in the past. Because now that you do have your full pen Tuvala, the next step that you are going to want to do post-graduation is you are going to want to talk to Jatina to actually exchange all of your pen Tuvala for the resplendent boss armor. And that will allow you to move into the guaranteed pen system, which is a really good way to progress your character and get gear over time it allows you to basically you're going to be converting your pen tuvala to tet boss armor and the guaranteed pen system kind of allows you to get like tet point one tet point two tet point three etc and allow you to actually um you know basically gear your character up progressively so you're going to go talk to jatina and then you are going to see in her main quest that she has a lot of different quests you can exchange your all your helmet your gloves your shoes your armor your main weapon your sub weapon and your awakening weapon now the good thing is that when you do this exchange you're going to be able to exchange for your boss gear of choice now this, I'm going to give some general recommendations here. This isn't going to apply to every single person's build, but for new players, if you're going to be at the Tet rank, for most people, DR is going to be what you want to go for. And so I highly do recommend getting your Griffin's helmet. Um, your chest is of choice. A dim tree is going to be better while you have it between Tet and Pen. But then once it gets to Pen, Red Nose is a little bit better because it's better to turn into that endgame fallen god armor later on. It's way 
easier to do that. So I personally went with Red Nose. And then for gloves, you're going to want to go with Begs. And for boots, you're going to want to go with Uragons. That will set you up in a fully DR setup, which in my opinion will be much stronger than Evasion for this level of gear. But if you have a specific Evasion build in mind, feel free to do an Evasion setup. But I personally would recommend going with, like I said, Griffin, Red Nose, Begs, and Uragons. Now, something that I want to note about the weapons is that when you exchange the Tuvala weapons to Jatina, you are going to get weapon boxes, not a one-for-one -one weapon exchange. It's not like you're going to exchange a shard for a shard. You're going to get a box. And basically what that means is that, let's say you time piece the character, you weren't feeling it, you want to go back to the original character that you were playing on the season servers, you can exchange your Tuvala weapon for that box, give that box to the character you want to actually play, then open that box, and it will give you the weapon of the character that corresponds to your class. So for me, let's say in a hypothetical world i time piece to my nova and i said you know what not really feeling it i want to go back to my draconia i open the box of my draconia and i get draconia weapons that is extremely important to keep in mind because if you don't do that you're going to have to eventually wait or buy weapon exchange coupons and then do it that way but when you get boxes open it on the character that you want to actually play in terms of weapons awakening weapon you're going to just obviously get dandelion for your sub weapon i recommend that most people get kudam it's the better pve weapon and at this rank you you're spending a lot of time grinding mobs. That's your main priority. So Kudim's going to be way better for that. And then for your main weapon, Zarka is going to be the best choice. And then you can start moving into the guaranteed pen system. I will have guides coming out about that soon. But for right now, I will link some in the description below. Since I think it is going to be the next thing that you want to prioritize post-graduation. But guys, that is going to be it for me today. Just a quick guide on how to graduate from the season servers. I had a lot of people ask me questions because they weren't sure exactly how to go about it. I know even I was a little scared. I didn't want to screw anything up. And so hopefully this does clear up what you were supposed to do. It's really not that hard of a process, you know, but I get that for your first time because again, I get it. Uh, for the first time, it can be a little like, oh, I don't want to mess anything up, but just follow what I said in this guide and you will be set and ready to go and start grinding to your heart's content and working on those pen pieces season anyway guys like i said i hope you found this helpful and if you did i really appreciate it if you smacked the like on it if you have any questions about graduation please feel free to leave a comment below and i will do my best to help you out and for more bdo beginner guides please hit that sub button as well as the bell to keep those notifications on so thank you all very much for stopping by today i do very much appreciate it as always i'm dots gaming and i'll see you all in the next video